What's up guys? Here with something a little bit different. Usually I'm building kits, uh, customizing something. This time I got sent a ready to run kit. Uh, so let's unbox this bad boy and check it out. There it is, the Tabezgar. Um, I don't know the exact name what it was. It's on the side here, they have a lot of numbers on it. Uh, I believe it's the 124HM, or HM124. Uh, it comes with everything in it. It's ready to go, ready to run. Um, looks like it's splash proof. So that's pretty cool, gonna get a little crazy with it. It's a brushless kit. Uh, there's a little bit you gotta put together on it from what I saw. Right, let's start opening this bad boy up. Yeah, so it's uh, 112 scale, four wheel drive, electric, off-road truck. Goes packaged nice. Looks like pretty secure in there. These are all just empty cardboards. And there we go. So I'm gonna see what else is in here first. Um, there should be a controller and whatnot. So it looks like there is a uh, protection plan for it. And here's where the rest of the stuff is all in the bottom of the box. Alright. Looks like it comes with a cool little lipo bag. It's pretty handy. Comes with a controller. Basic style controller. A um, couple of dials on top, uh, there's a note on there, I'm not messing with it before you bind it, so we're just going to set that to the side. Uh, it comes with some lights, so that's pretty cool, this goes on the roof, so it looks like there's some assembly required because for packaging purposes, but there's four little uh, spots there for the lights, and lights come in there with the cables and everything, put that to the side. And Looks like there's a little external wing, and it comes with three batteries. That's pretty cool. Um, it's got a little charger in here. Looks like it's got two chargers. That's cool, you can charge two batteries at a time. Comes with uh, a couple tools. It's got a screwdriver, um, got a four way uh, wrench there, and looks like it's got Dean's plugs on it. So, it's pretty cool. And oh, it even comes with batteries for the controller. Perfect. So, check it out. The wheels are, wheels and tires are pretty cool. Um, I guess it's perfect size for 112 scale. I guess when you've seen all the 10 scale stuff. Oh, it actually comes with two bodies. So that's why the lights aren't on it, because it's a spare body. So there we go, is the actual main one. So it's already all together. So that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing that wing's an add on. They bolts on the top there. It's pretty cool. So let's take some, it's got basic body pins. It's got little things on the tabs on it to make it easier to take off. And there you go, it's got strap for, strap the battery in there. It's actually got metal body shocks, aluminum shocks there, oil filled. Feels pretty good. It's a brushless motor right there in the center. Of course, it's got the warning don't touch. Um, got a servo, speed controller, everything in here. Uh, nice metal drive shaft. It's got a metal, all metal drive shafts everywhere. It's pretty cool. Uh, feels pretty light. That's a good, good weight for what it is, but it's not like crazy heavy or anything. Um, the whole chassis is all plastic, but that's kind of good to keep it light, keep the cost down. Uh, see there, basic style chassis. So yeah, definitely pretty cool little ready to run four wheel drive kit. Uh, next I'll be taking a little, little rip, see how it goes. Um, I'll probably put this body together too, just to have, get both colors and have a spare because I'm sure on crash. 
Um, it actually looks like there's still plastic on the uh, body here that we have to peel off, so it actually looks like it'll get a little shinier too. So, pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool kit. Um, gonna charge the batteries tonight and let it rip tomorrow.